Welcome to Tech Notice. This is part two of the Pilotfly Focus One Follow Focus System video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to actually use it. It's more simple than you think, so stay tuned. Okay, I've kind of separated all the things that you saw in the last video, if you haven't seen the last video, what all the things and little pieces that you get with the package are, then check it up there, check it out up there. What I've done over here is already I've put the plate of the gimbal on the camera. Now make sure that the plate is as further across to the lens as possible because your lens is most likely it's gonna be very front heavy, which means you're gonna to need to push the gimbal uh, camera back on the gimbal as much as possible because the focus motor is gonna rest on the front side as well making the lens even more front heavy so once you've done that let's do the next thing next thing we're gonna need to put the belt on the lens now make sure that the belt is parallel with the lens so it's not going around the lens like that because otherwise the teeth are gonna jump out of the belt and also make sure that this belt fixing is not gonna be in the way of the motors so you're gonna only know it once you've attached the motors if it's gonna be in the way it depends where you're gonna put it but just I know that the lens is gonna only turn to the right side which means this is the maximum point and the motor is going to be in this side now next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take one of these hot shoe mounts that goes onto the motor and make sure that the actual circle or the rod bit is going closer to the belt motor over there okay tighten a little bit out up so it's not going any further and then put the rod inside and then just to the, the end of the rod. So tighten it to the end of the rod. You can tighten it up nice and tight. Now next thing you're gonna do is put the, this other fixing or hot shoe mount fixings onto the rod and then attach it to your camera hot shoe mount. Okay, once you put it on the hot shoe mount, put the motor on the belt teeth and then tighten it up on the hot shoe mount. Okay, if your motor is not on the teeth anymore, then just untighten the motor a little bit and then bend it down or just turn it so that it's nicely sitting on the teeth of the belt. I've told you to put the quick release plate off the um, motor as close to the motor as possible. The other way is to put it the other way, which means the motor is going to sit further away from the lens, which means it's more likely to give away a little bit. And then my experience, it's going to jump a little bit on your belt, which means you know, just jumps up out sometimes because it's just so further away and it's hard to keep it tight. So this is the best way of doing it. Next thing you're going to do is take the quick release plate off the focus wheel and put it on the left side of the gimbal. Okay, make sure that the, the actual release knob over here or the release hatch is facing down because, well, there is no other way it can go. Actually, it can face up. Okay, this is quite simple. Literally tighten up the screw inside. And then just slide your focus wheel in, tighten it up, boom, and that is attached to the gimbal nice and tight. Next thing that we're gonna do is, you're gonna need two cables, okay? First of all is the power cable. Depends what camera you're using. I am using a Sony camera, which means I'm gonna use the DC to micro USB pod. And then you're gonna need a camera control button if you wanna use some all the features on the actual focus wheel, which is this cable over here, which is the HDMI to a micro USB cable. So we're gonna attach the camera to the gimbal now don't worry if it's out of balance at first because we're gonna balance it out last there's no point of balancing it first and then adding bits over here okay now it's time to balance the gimbal the DC cable basically goes into the DC in on the motor and then goes all the way to the axis on the adventure gimbal there's output just nicely labeled over there put pulls over there and then you can put the micro USB port from your camera to the motor as well which means now on the focus wheel you can use to start recording on the focus wheel now the last thing we're gonna do is actually balance the gimbal if you don't know how to do that you can watch my video over there and let's do it the next thing you're gonna do is turn on the gimbal when the gimbal turns on you can see that this little light comes on as well at the moment it is red so don't worry about it next thing you're gonna do is turn on this little wheel on the side over here there's a little power power button on the side here just hold it down and then on the LCD you should see a greeting sign for me the LCD screen was flipped the other way around from the box. If you need to change that, what you, what you can do is go on the menu. The menu button is this little middle button on the, surrounded by these arrow buttons on the here. 
press the menu button and then go down to display, hit OK again, which is the middle button, and then just flick between normal or reverse and then you can flip the LCD around, okay? And then you can go back by switching left. So next thing what we're gonna need to do is connect it to the motor. On mine, it's connected automatically. I can see that this light is green already. If it isn't connected already, then what you can do is go on the menu, go on the motor menu, and then press connect, and then hold on to this connect button over here, and then it should sy sync up basically. Now the next thing what we're gonna need to do is calibrate the motor so that the end and start point of the wheel are the same as the end focus point and beginning focus point on the wheel. So there are a few ways to do it. I'm gonna show you one way, which I think is the most easiest way, is that if you go to the menu, go to calibrate, and then go to M, there are M remote and M hand. Both of these, you can calibrating them the same way. M with hand is basically, you can just move it, move it with your hand, or where M remote is when you're just using these buttons over here. We're gonna use M remote, press M remote and press OK. Now this is start, press start again. Now, end point one. Now, what you're gonna want to do now is either choose the most furthest or most closest point. It doesn't matter really, you can flip it around the other way later if you wanted to. I'm gonna choose the end point at the moment. So the end focus point, basically infinity focus at the moment. And then how you can do that is these two buttons up and down on the wheel over here are gonna turn the motor. So I'm gonna press up until it goes to focus infinity okay that's it it doesn't go anymore that's it now i'm going to press okay and then end point two i'm going to press down make the motor go all the way to the other side to the beginning point that's it the closest focusing distance press okay and then you are done and then now you can see the percentage where you are focused 25.5 and then if i go all the way to the end 100 percent which is the closest point for me at the moment. And then when I'm gonna turn all the way away, now 0%, that is the furthest closest point. I like it that way because when I'm turning the wheel my side, it's actually focusing closer. So if I know that the subject I wanna focus on, I'm gonna turn it towards me, then I know that the focus is moving towards me. If I'm gonna turn it away from me, it's gonna move away from me. If you don't like it that way, you can easily flip it around on the menu. You can find it on the menu very easily. So now this is how to use it. This is quite the simple setup now. Basically you can use different modes on your gimbal and then just follow your screen over there and then follow the focus make sure your camera is on manual focus not autofocus anymore because you are adjusting the focus now the wheel has a few different options over here as well basically the camera button over here is the shutter release button if you're on the manual mode you can take photos with this and there is a movie record button if you've connected the camera control button over there then you can actually do that on this little button over here if you don't like that you can still connect your camera do the gim gimbal and use the buttons located on the back of the gimbal handle to control the camera that way. Now, let's say you've got a situation where you wanna put a certain focusing point and certain focusing point on the wheel over here, then that is very simple as well because you have these little hard points over here. So let's say I'm gonna wanna focus only on from like 60 or 70%, over here. So what all, all I'm gonna do is move these hard points to where the 70 point is, tighten it up, and then move the other one, let's say the other one is 20%, tighten it up over there. Now my wheel only goes from 20% to 70%. And that's how you do it. And this is basically how you're gonna use it. If you have any other questions, comment below. I'm happy to help out. I'm gonna go outside, shoot some test footage with it. And then on the third video, where I'm gonna give you my opinion, you can see loads of nice little beautiful B-roll lying over my opinion, what I'm thinking about this focusing system, my opinion, some of the good sides, bad sides, what you should be looking out for. So I'll see you on the third video. If you like this video, hit the like below and subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, I'm gonna meet you in the comment section below if you have any other questions. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the part three. Bye.